Newton's Nuggets. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Newton's Nuggets. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining us. It's me and Jesse. Uh, uh, say hello, Jesse. Hello, Jesse. That's it. I'm ready now. I'm here now. Once I'm here, hello, Jesse. <laughs> you know you've started now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I take it a little bit more seriously now because we're there. We started. Um, okay, today we have a first ever. We have a first ever returning guest. We have Mr. Keith Blakemore Noble. Now, the, Keith's lovely. He's got so much information that if it could get out of his head and go to the whole population, I actually think this would be a better world. Um, some of the conversations we've had in the past, you probably could never record and we could never put out there, but he's a lovely bloke and he's just trying to help people. Um, today, we do have some technical issues. Keith has just moved into a new place. It really is in the middle of nowhere. He's got no broadband, so please bear with us. Um, but it's worth listening to. Uh, I know what Jesse's like. I know he's going to take that footage. He's going to edit it. He's going to make it look almost just faultless. But no so, pressure. <laughs> yeah. There, but uh, there was a couple of times, wasn't there, when the speech just stopped and, uh, yeah. and you lost bits. Yeah. Um, I think we covered it all. But mate, seriously, <laughs> whatever you get out of this one, I'm so proud of you. Okay, um, so so Jesse, what should we do? Should we should we end this bit with here's a word from a sponsor, and then just go straight into Keith stuff? Yeah, I think go straight. I, I, it's such a good one. This one, I think we need to just go crack on and go straight into it. Awesome, ladies and gents. Here's a word from our sponsor, followed by the interview with Keith Blake Monobel. Today's show is sponsored by Bisco Solicitors. You can find them by going to www.biscos hyphen law.co.uk they specialize in family law commercial law personal injury uh, employment law medical negligence wills and trust even mental health issues so please go along and have a look at their website it's really good they've even got a chat function on there that you can just chat to someone without it costing you a penny and when you talk to them tell them i said thank you for sponsoring us it really means a lot to me Newton's Nuggets. Ladies and gents, welcome back to Newton's Nuggets. Today we have our first ever return interview. Um, we, Keith was one of the first people that came on to this show, uh, mostly to just humour me and shut me up, I think. But now the show's kind of got some momentum. It's got some great people coming on it, and I've asked Keith to come back for a specific reason. Um, Keith is a brilliant hypnotist, he's great at working with people, he's great at getting people past their fears and he's about to release, or by the time this has gone out, he may have just released his book, The Mask We Wear. Keith, can you come in and have a chat and tell, look at that, as if by magic the book appears, look at that. I'm so glad that your green screen didn't make that book disappear then, that was awesome. Keith, how are you mate? I'm fabulous, Paul. Fabulous as always, thank you. Uh, yeah, that would have been embarrassing to just hold up a blank nothing with the green screen playing up. Uh, Mate, yeah, I've book, seen uh, people do it. I've seen out. people do it. Yeah. Awesome. So, 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 so should we this, ask? But... Yeah. Should we ask how it's going so far? You can ask anything you like, Paul. Yeah, uh, we got to number 13 in Amazon's um, hot new sellers list. Hot new releases list, which was rather good. And number thirteen into the, into the top fifty for the best seller. Yeah, so number thirteen in the hot new releases and into the top fifty for the best sellers as well. Well done, sir. The launch weekend, mate. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Um, that, was, that was the launch of the Kindle, and the paperback comes out the following week. Now, I will explain to people that Keith has just moved house, and I think that he does not have broadband yet. He's, he's working on 4G connection. So every so often, there's going to be a couple of delays. There's going to be a couple of moments that will go stuttery. But please bear with us. The information is worth it. Keith, can you tell us a bit about the book, why you wrote it, what's behind it, and how it's going to help? Oh, three things in one. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, so the book is nothing to do with COVID, but it's all about the, the metaphorical masks that we all wear throughout life. Um, and it talks about what the heck these masks are, where they come from, 
why they're so dangerous and how we can get rid of them and what life is like once you have got them. That's, that's the book in a nutshell. Um, and it came about kind of over eight years, I guess you could say, because um, <clears throat> it all started off as an introduction to a different talk that I was doing eight years ago. And I, I sort of thought, you know, I need a really good hook for this. On my way up to London to do the talk on the train, I suddenly thought, oh, we all hide behind masks, which makes it really difficult to connect. I know I'll open it by wearing a mask, play on that and go from there. Of course, because the thought only came to me on the train on the way up to London and I only had like half an hour before the event. It was really tricky to find one. The only mask I could find was an Iron Man mask. So half the audience were thinking, why is he dressed as Iron Man? Which wasn't quite the message, but it, it kind of worked. A year or so later, I was in a, a training course because we should always be training and improving our, our abilities. It's always more to learn whatever field we're in. And one of the one of the things, obviously, it's part of that. You have to do various talks. And I suddenly thought, oh, I could do that talk that I did a year ago. I know I need a mask. Oh, huh, I haven't got one. We're in the middle of nowhere. A friend of mine, Elliot Kay, was also on the course. And he's one of these guys who is prepared for everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> so I went up to him. Hey, Elliot, have you got... You haven't got something I could make a mask out of, have you? And he said words to me which really stuck. Oh, are you doing your mask talk? I was like, wow. This is a talk that I'd only done once before. Elliot had happened to be in the audience when I've done it once before. But it's stuck in this guy's mind. And he's christened it the mask talk. Interesting. I have a talk. Kind of went from there. It evolved. Did it a few more times over the years. Then... With the great lockdown of 2020, uh, I was able to get more involved online with uh, for networking uh, because I live in the middle of nowhere. Hence the really dodgy uh, connect internet connection we've got at the moment. I live in the middle of nowhere, which made it really difficult to, to get to networking meetings. But they went online and I dived in. And as with many networking organizations, part of the meeting is somebody gets to do an 18-minute talk presentation. So I had developed this talk and turned it around to, into talking about the masks that we wear, what they are, where they come from, all that sort of thing. And I, I did the talk. It went down well. I got invited to, to present it at many, many of the, the events. I think I've done it about 20, 25 times. Uh, always goes down well. Uh, one person said, uh, uh, subsequently, this is the fourth time I've heard Keith's talk. I came to this meeting specially to hear it because I always get something from it. Wow, that's really humbling when somebody somebody says something like that to you. And people kept saying, oh, are you going to turn this into a book? Are you going to turn this into a book? And I kept saying, well, no, it's an 18-minute talk. That's going to be like 10 pages. But the idea is uh, stuck. And there's only so many times people can basically say to you, I want to buy this as a book, write it as a book. There's only so many times people can do that before you go, okay, I'll turn it into a book and that's pretty much what I did during lockdown turned it into a 144 page book so it's taking everything that we covered in the talk goes into yeah. a lot more detail explains some of the science behind what's going on and the reason for that is not to kind of show off hey I've got a sciencey background I know what's going on let me bamboozle you it's because different things work for different people Part of the book is all about how you remove your masks. And we take you through different exercises and different things. So some of them will work for some people. Others will work for other people. There will be some people for whom none of those particularly resonate. Most people will find one or more of them, yay, work brilliantly. Some people will find, I kind of get it, but it's not really doing it for me. But by going into the background of everything that goes on as well, you get a much deeper understanding of what's going on, where these come from so that you can use the exercises, not necessarily as an exercise, but as an example of the kind of things that create an exercise, and you can match that up with the science behind what's going on and create something that works for you. So it basically covers people at, at all levels, as well as it's also interesting to just understand where this stuff is coming from. It's not just somebody making this all up to, to cram it into a book and, and send it to you. There is, there is background to all of this. Well, this is it. When when you first said about um, through the book, when you first said to me about the title for this, it hit a chord with me because my last proper job was with a company that did psychometrics, 
and we used to talk about the self-image and how you like to do things, the work mask and how you would change yourself to fit in in that work mask, and then the pressure graph. And the pressure one was when you feel that real big pressure and all your targets are coming against you and your boss is on top of you, what kind of an animal you turn into. So when you started talking with me about the masks we all wear, I thought, yeah, he gets it. He actually understands this. And people do switch their personality and how they behave in situations on a daily basis. Um, I've got friends, and, and Jesse's married to somebody who's in a job that the situations around you can change so massively, and they need to become different people to get the results they need. Um, I think just you know the first step of understanding that can help you in your work and your life itself. Absolutely. The, uh, and one of the things that I say in the book, perhaps the first and the biggest step you can take towards removing your mask is to be aware of them. Just being aware that these things exist is, is, a, is a massive first step. And it's the same with any problem that you, that you overcome. Um, for, uh, for example, uh, alcoholics, you cannot help an alcoholic until they realize and accept, I'm an alcoholic, which is why in, in, in AA, one of the things you say is, my, my name is Fred, I'm an alcoholic. It's like, you can't do anything about it unless you realize and accept it. And it's the same with masks. You can't get rid of them you don't realize that you're wearing them. And it's an interesting thing that you masks and aspects of our personas. Um, because uh, you're absolutely right, in different situations, different facets of our personality and our persona show up. Um, uh, you, for example, uh, you are one person on this. You're a, a slightly different person when you're on stage. You're a different person when you're doing mental theft for massive organizations who we probably are not allowed to mention. And you're yet another person when, when you're at home with the, with the family. Are they different people? No, they're all Paul. It's all you being you. It's just you bring different facets of your personality to the fore. And there's a huge difference between that and wearing masks because when we wear masks we're basically hiding we're not sort of using the most appropriate facet of our personality the ceo mm. right i've got to be really focused on this serious focused professional masks are where you're actually actively pretending to be something that you are not or not pretending to be something that you are and that's where it gets really damaging because Paul switching between family Paul and uh, mental theft expert presenting to massive organizations, Paul, it's the same Paul. Everybody, everybody's going to know that, hey, yeah, he's probably slightly different at home. He's different on stage. Cool. But if you actively pretended to be someone different, that's where the, the real problems come. Because you hide those bits of you that, that people really need, the bits that people really want. And yeah. It starts to create massive conflict. And it stops you connecting with the very people who make life so much more enjoyable and, and that's a massive thing isn't it if we start pretending okay right i see it in magicians i see british magicians that are quite young that are new to the game and they watch a load of american magicians and they learn from them and they take on an american accent and it's like no 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 take what they're teaching you and then give it your own spin <laughs> make it yourself and and then it becomes really powerful um do you mind me asking for now? I've read the book and I know the answer to this. A life changing moment when you realized that you may have been wearing a mask. That is a great question, and uh, yeah, it's covered in the uh, in the preface preface to the book. It was um, to cut a long story short. Um, I was I was married, beautiful wife. We married. First year or so, everything was going well. And then after a year or so, you know, kind of after things, after normal life settles in, we started to realize things weren't working out quite quite how we'd expected. Married life wasn't the, the bed of roses we thought it would be. And I was trying to figure out what's going on. Why is the marriage not working? And that's when I realized I had, I had and I can never say this word, I had an epiphany. Yay! Got it! <laughs> I had an epiphany. Of course, my marriage wasn't working. I'm gay. But the, the reality is I'd spent, because when I was growing up, 
no no role models grew up in a small village, middle of nowhere in the 70s and 80s. Obviously, pretending, obviously, you learn very early on to pretend that you're you're straight. Anything other than that is just ostracized. So I spent the vast majority of my life pretending to be someone I wasn't to the point that I'd kind of just completely lost touch with, with who I was. And so, of course, that then causes massive problems. Um, and that, that absolutely was a, a huge mask that, that I was wearing and had been wearing for so long. I'd forgotten that it, I'd forgotten that I was wearing the mask and it causes yeah. huge problems as you can, as you can imagine. And that's it exactly, isn't it? Sometimes people get so drawn into, you need to be this shape, this type, this uh, color, this creed, this, you need to be this to fit in. And you get so stuck to fitting in, but actually after a while it can, it can hurt so much to realize you're fitting in with the people you don't want to be with. Whereas if you were you, if you got rid of that mask and you became you, the pure you, the you that you actually want to be, you'd be fitting in with a whole different bunch of people that love you for that person you are. Um, it, it's, it's a weird exactly. one, mate. It's a weird one. But I love it. I love it. Okay, um, sensible stuff, because I'm really worried about our broadband connection here. I'm worried that we're going to lose you. Where's the best place for me to go and buy your book? KeithBlakemoreNoble.com slash masks. Brilliant. We got go that. there. KeithBlakemoreNoble.com slash masks. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, sorry, yeah. mate. We, it was go there, you'll find messing out the details up about perfectly the on that moment. Yeah. So you'll find out the details about the, about the book. You'll find the different ways you can buy it. Obviously, it's available through through Amazon, Waterstones, Barnes and Noble, all, all of these places, and you can buy it direct from me from there for less than Amazon are selling it. <laughs> no way. So KeithBlakemanOld.com. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, and do you know what? That's something I actually like doing. If you buy direct from authors. Sometimes you can get something special. You might get a bit of an add-on. You might even get a signature sometimes. So I actually like dealing with authors directly. <laughs> um, my, my wife has a favorite author that, that, that does period drama -y stuff. I am no expert in this at all. And, and I got in touch with her to buy my wife's Christmas present. And she said, oh, is it special? I said, yes, yeah, she's one of your followers. She absolutely loves what you do. And the author came back with, right, can you give me her full name? I'll write something in the front just for her. So my wife's got this book that she absolutely wanted and a message from the author and a signature. I, I'm sorry, I just think that makes it special. Um, so, yeah, get in touch with Keith directly. Buy the book directly if you can. Don't get me wrong, helping him rank up in Amazon will be great as well. So if you can't do it that way, go to Amazon. Um, Keith, anything you would like to tell my followers, and you know... You know by now that I ask everyone for their special nugget of information. So when we put out Newton's Nuggets, the title has a meaning other than just being funny for me and Jesse. So what's your nugget of information? <laughs> oh, God, that's conjured up a horrible image there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I, would, <laughs> I would say uh, it's a phrase that I often use to sign off, and there is meaning behind using the phrase. The phrase I use is, uh, remember that change is always possible. And when you change your mind, you change your life. And it is literally true. When you change your perspective on things, when you change how you look at things, when you change your, the, the way in which you operate, the way in which you think, it really does change your life. And change can happen very, very quickly. People sometimes think, oh, it can take months, years to make the change. No, change is instant. Mate, that's brilliant. And actually, you know what? It reminds me of something that happened uh, two days ago, maybe three days ago. A young lady that Jesse and I both know was doing an abseil down the Spinnaker Tower at Portsmouth. Uh, she sent me a message saying, Look, I'm worried about this. I literally did a Zoom call with her for about 10 minutes taught her the beauty of anchoring emotions and feelings around physical oh, yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, apparently she went from being fearful of going up this height to standing on the glass floor in the spinnaker tower and looking down. Yeah. Mate, she did so well. 
so well, so impressed. And and Jesse, you're more than welcome to put a link up to that charity thing you actually did. Um, right, I'm, I'm going to stop the interview there. Mate, thank you so much for coming on. I really, really, fingers crossed, so many best wishes for this book. Because, like I said, I have read it. Um, I think it's brilliant. I think everyone should read it. I think everyone deserves a copy of it. It, it will help the right people. Thank you so much for putting this out there, mate. And thank you for coming back on again. We love you on here. Um, ladies and gents, that's Keith Blakemore Noble. Thank Go you so check much. out his book. Uh, you're welcome anytime, Keith. Um, and we expect to have Keith back again at some point because he's just that kind of nice bloke. Ladies and gents, we're going to have a word from our sponsor. Then we'll have a bit of chat between me and Jesse. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. This show has been sponsored by Fresh Sec. Now, FreshSec are security for your company and your domain. They find out if sensitive information has already been leaked from within your company. They show you where security hotspots are in your business. Uh, they help you understand how and where training is needed within your team. And best of all, just for listening to my dulcet tones, they're offering you a free 14-day trial. That's right, 14 days, completely free. You don't even need to put your credit card information in. All you have to do is email mentaltheft at freshsec.com and they'll do a full check on your domain for you. You'll be able to see exactly what you would get if you're one of their clients. And the best thing is they do all of this for around about £50 a month. They're like your security Rottweiler that you never have to feed. Fresh sec. Go and have a look. Newton's Nuggets. Welcome back, everyone. Um, it's now me and Jesse. We've just done the interview with Keith, and, and he was brilliant again. So thank you so much, Keith, for coming along. Really do appreciate it, mate. Um, Jesse, second time that you've been introduced to Keith. What did you think? Oh, yeah, I, I love Keith. Uh, I wish... Keith's just like you and me, that I think anybody who knows us knows that we've got a wicked sense of humour to the point that we can't put it on all on screen. And I would I agree think, with that wholeheartedly. I, I don't think I got that the first time, like not fully got that the first time I met Keith, but this time just chit-chatting behind the scenes before we filmed and everything. You know, he's got a really wicked sense of humour, and um, so and he's such a nice guy. Um, I think it was quite nice because the first time that we filmed with him, I didn't really know fully what it was he did because you kind of introduced him to me as one of my magician friends, but actually he does so much more than that. Um, and yeah, this book is really uh, this book is really interesting to me. I really like the subject. Um, I was talking to you See, afterwards. This is it, and, and you haven't even read the book yet. Yeah. I was talking to you afterwards and said, you know, I had questions, but actually because you'd read the book, uh, you know, you asked him the question about him having a mask. And actually that was something that I was interested in, interested in addressing. Um, we chatted about, you know, how when you do military training, the whole point is to break you down so that you get rid of all of those masks um, so they and you can really understand who you are as a person and actually I think that's the thing is a lot of people don't realise they have a mask because they never consider yeah. it yeah it's true mate and and how many people are out there living a life that they don't actually want to live because yeah. they're still pretending to be the person they don't want to be it's just weird yeah. um, and, and then uh, uh, trying to make this one of the shortest and most complete nuggets we've ever done um, his his nugget itself, yeah. You know, it, it's always possible to change. It it is. It really is. Um, I mean, I'd look at my life fifteen, sixteen years ago. Completely different person. Completely different situation. Completely different. You were only fifteen thinking. at the time, Paul. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ladies and gents, this amazing physique is of a 30-year-old man. <laughs> Brilliant. 
absolutely brilliant. And just, just so you know, when you pulled that face, you froze on my screen for a while. Yeah, you froze on my screen as well. I, I was thinking really? you were... <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, even the Zoom call is censoring you. It's <laughs> like, no, you're not. <laughs> even, even, even the Zoom call just went. Let's stop those two right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, fake news. But, uh, yeah, fake news. Stop it. Um, yeah, stop lying about your age. Forty-three. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, change is possible. It is really possible, and and. <sighs> How can I put this? Do you know what? If you're already in contact with me and you need some help and you're not sure where you're going, give me a shout. I'll help you if I can. Um, or if you're in contact with me and know Jesse's details, call him. There's more chance that he'll get back to you. <laughs> That's true. I but think it it's good. It really is. You've got to find people who are open-minded. And I think very often if you're trying to remove your own mask, very often the reason the mask is there is that you're not being as open-minded as you know potentially other people will be and you need those people around you to tell you that it's okay yeah and whatever and it is whatever. we're scared we're scared of what the important people around us will think yeah um i don't know i i, I come from a very open and lovely background where my family always supported me with whatever i did um, they'd tell me if I was being stupid, but oh, yeah. they'd support me as well. Um, I kind of wish so many other people had the same upbringing that I had. Mm. I, th I genuinely were. think everybody should work in theatre for a few years because everybody who I've ever met that has worked in <laughs> theatre... That scares me. That scares me. <laughs> but everybody I've ever met that has worked in theatre for a bit, um, basically has such an open mind because theatre brings so many different types of people in Yeah, that, you know, I would, I would have said like the military teaches you to be accepting and anybody can be, you know, your oppo as it were. But the reality is only, uh, in general, a relatively s narrow spectrum of people join the military for very different reasons potentially, but, but you've got to be in the right mindset. Whereas actually with the theatre, you know, there are so many different types of people. Yeah. And they are so open to whatever you bring to the yeah, game. Exactly. Um, in my whole theatre career, I can only recall one person that everyone just went, you will never get along in this industry because she was just so abusive and so mean to everyone. Yeah, that everyone around just went, no, nope, not listening to you. You can jog along. <laughs> um, and the funny thing is, that there's there are specific old buddies that if they watch this, they will name that person to me. That they will go, "What are you talking about?" And I'll go, "Yeah, yeah." And then I've got other friends. Yeah, right. There's one lady that was massive in my life when I was a teenage kid, just trying to figure myself out. And she was like stage manager. And then she was the tech manager of a venue that I then went and worked at as well. So she and I got on that well that she employed me for a while. She's she nuts in her own sense, in her own little way. Um, but still, I know we're still connected on Facebook. We still chat every so often. And if I do something that she thinks is stupid, she'll tell me. Mm -hmm. But do you know what? She, she was there at my wedding. She's, she knows all about Little and she and actually when I moved into this house she came over and did some gardening <laughs> you know is there I mean? anybody it's... who apart from me is there anybody who hasn't done gardening in your house mate not many people know where this house is it's a very 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 select few people um, but yeah so you get to come over and help me with the office tomorrow cheers dude <laughs> Mate, do you know what? Change is possible. Find your own tribe. Find the tribe of people that will encourage you to be the person that you know you should be. Yeah. And I really, really think that me and you have found a lovely group of people right now. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Ladies and gents, that's your Newton's Nuggets for today. Change is definitely possible. Um, and be you. I think Mike you're awesome. book. <laughs> Mikey's book. 
we will have the link coming across now. As this by Just magic. Yeah. <laughs> you now need just a little smoke website to come up um mate that's awesome thank you so much ladies and gents this has been this week's newton's nuggets we've got some very interesting people coming up some of them from the cyber world some of them from health some of them from backgrounds that you just won't believe we're gonna have a lot of fun and i'll see you next week bye 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 newton's nuggets Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Now, if you want to subscribe, it should be up there. If you want to see more of Newton's Nuggets, they're down there. If you want to see more about mental theft stuff, that should be down there somewhere. And the business speaker stuff should be up there. Thank you very much. Speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.